fireworks. That's what it's supposed to sound like, right? So that's yeah, the sound. Yeah, that's the sound of, of fireworks. fireworks. Yeah. yeah. This year's all uh, across the Bay Area's 4th of July celebrations went off with a bang. Some people crossing their fingers, considering the mess that we dealt with last year. Welcome to Nightside. I'm Carolina Lee. And I'm Ryan Bass. I remember last year. I mean, I feel like we were doomed after that fireworks fail in St. Pete, especially considering the same company ran Tampa's Boom by the Bay extravaganza. Nightside's Bo Zimmer live at Armature Works. Boom by the Bay, Bo, gets a big thumbs up. Two thumbs up from some people. Hey, let's take a look over here. Let me just show you around. This is Armature Works. This whole area was packed with people watching this waterfront display. This was really a unique experience for Tampa. Four displays all in one. They had barges set up here along the on the river, and you had some people who just plopped down and found a, a great seat, like these folks over here uh, found a great seat along the water. Other people walked along the river walk here, uh, either rode bikes or their scooters, and got four shows from all different perspectives. After a disappointing display for some in 2018, it was all smiles for the city of Tampa's inaugural Boom by the Bay. They were thrilled, you know, they started running, they started having fun, and you know, that's exactly what I came out for them to do. Tampa Mayor Jane Castor delivering on her promise of a big time show. It was like really long and I liked how like it was in the air, so like there was multiple fireworks at once coming together. I thought it was cool. It was just like a whole bunch of like fireworks everywhere. Further down the river, there was what seemed to be a glitch on one of the four barges, but the show continued, and the barge near Armature Works had to be extinguished after appearing to catch fire. There were some suggestions for making next year's display even better. The only thing I missed was music. I think there should be music with the fireworks. Yes, it's awesome. But overall, rave reviews and plenty of people looking forward to making Boom by the Bay an annual tradition. I thought it was amazing, you know. I mean, I came out, I was expecting what I saw, you know, and it was, uh, I'm coming back next year. Overall, very positive responses from people who are out here at the show. This area where you're looking at right here is actually where one of the barges was, was set up. They've actually already removed the barge. It looks like there might be some debris still out there in the water they may have to clean up, but uh, we're still waiting to get some official word on what happened with a couple of those glitches. I don't think that fire that was on this barge out here was a big deal. And then there was that delay a little bit further down the river. I wasn't at that to see that myself, but we did hear that there was a slight possible delay, uh, but we're trying to find out exactly what happened there, but we'll let you know as soon as we find out. But overall, a lot of people saying they're excited about making this an annual tradition. All right.